everyone. I'm Xiang Pong, the product manager uh, in Netman AI. Today, we, we will talk about the agent payments protocol, AP2, how AI agents can spend money safely. So AP2 is not a new payment system. It's a trust layer above the existing payment system so that agent can spend money with authorization and accountability. And I will break it down with the implementation, some business scenarios, pro and cons, so that you can have a rough picture of it. Here is our agenda. First, we will talk about AP2 overview, then the code implementation, three business use case, and finally the pro and cons grounded in real world constraints. So what is the AP2? AP2 is an open protocol designed for agent initiated payments. They are announced by Google on September. There are three goals. The first is clear authorization exactly what an agent may buy under what caps for which merchants. The second evidence chain. Every step is signed from intent to order to make payment all auditable. And the connectivity, agents, merchants, and the payment system speak one language. Actually, a broad set of companies has participated from tech to payment networks then a few, a MasterCard, a American Express, PayPal, Coinbase, Revolut, and more. The AP2 score is a mandate. So AP2 decompose a transaction into three digital mini contracts. First is the intent mandate, the user's verifiable rulers. Spend a cap, time window, merchant allow list, and more. Card mandate is a price locked card snapshot from the main chart. Main chart signs in human present, the user signs as well. Payment mandate is the payment method plus the context bundled for the system, marking it as an agent transaction. We can see the example of the card mandate. Here, there is ID, uh, user signature require, required force meaning this is a human not present case. User do not need to sign. This is a payment request, including the payment method, and this is a detail of the product. And here, this is a merchant signature and the timestamp. So each step is signed and timestamped, time forming a evidence chain who approved what, when, and for how much reducing my agent spend incorrectly dispute. Here is a complete agent payment flow from intent to price offer to card to confirm, token, pay, and evidence. So intent, the user will submit intent. Intent uh, is created and assigned. It's about the, the user saying what he want to buy, how much he want to spend, and the price the shopping agent engage merchant agent to negotiate the price, find the right product. And the card, the merchant return a signed card. Users reviews and signs. And this is for human present case. And for human not pre present case, users do not need to review and sign. And then confirm. And we go to the token phase. The agent will ask a credential provider like the bank wallet for one-time payment token. Then the agent can start to pay. And when the user wake up, he will see the evidence. So once success, the hash, signature, timestamp for intent, card, and payment are all stored as evidence. Now let's see a code, code, code implementation for human present demo. So this is from the AP2 GitHub of Google, and, as, and this is a simplified version. 
Here is a complete agent collaboration for human present purchase flow. User want to buy a coffee maker. And here is a shopping agent. He first help user to create the intent mandate from the buy coffee maker. Then the, sh the shopping agent will send the intent mandate to merchant, uh, merchant agent. The merchant agent will find the, the right a product and send it back to user here, cart options. Then the user will select the product he want. After user selects product, the shopping agent will help user to collect the shipping address and update the cart with shipping address. And then the shopping agent will help user find the right payment method. And the shopping agent will also help create this payment mandate and the user will re re review it and sign it. After all that thing work done, the deal is closed and everything is stored as the evidence. Now let's talk about the business case. The first use case is e-commerce. The goal is that the merchant wants to sell more items at, at customer's desired Price. A user can, can set his intent as he wants to buy a green shirt jacket that less than 1,000 pounds. And the agent, the shopping agent, will work with multiple merchant agents. Overnight, a right a product meets the constraints, the auto order completes. The user wake up to a receipt and evidence train. What's the benefit of that? To, con to consumer, no more refreshing, no missed windows. For merchant, there are higher conversions and a fear price age drop-offs. To platform, there is long tail conversions activated by agents. Now let's see the second user case, frequent transaction. The goal is to buy high volumes of digital asset creation. A user needs to buy a lot digital asset to finish his report. So the, the user will encode budget, license, and rating thresholds into intent. And the agent will negotiate across content platforms and build a pri price locked card. The user confirms in human present mode or runs not pre present mode overnight and the order completes. Delivery includes assets, license proof, and evidence chain. What's the benefit of that? This is automated buy, pay, license store, and this is ideal for frequent, low-value transactions in creative pipelines. The third use case is SaaS subscriptions. The goal is to manage their own SaaS subscription to monitor, reduce their own costs. An ops agent will watch the usage. If the thresholds are exceeded, it will help buy plans from an allow listed vendor. And also, the ops agent can help you manage subscription plans, renew or deactivate it based on real usage. So you can save some time to manage it yourself, especially when you have like 20 or 100 Subscri subs subscriptions. So what's the benefit? There's zero downtime, more flexible consumption-based operations, and audit trades for finance and compliance. Okay, now let's talk about the pro and cons. Let's talk about the advantage first. First advantage is the trustworthy. This is a trend sign in, from intent to card to payment, turns disputes into an objective question, who approved what and when. Connect. Protocol layer is reusable across agents, merchants, and the payment system. And also, this is payment neutral, so cards, bank transfer, and crypto all work. Great UX. 
Not present mode removes people waiting on system pane. Imagine you can buy the concert ticket without keep refreshing the window. The agent will help you handle it. A new business model. This is mi micro transactions, pay for performance, and agent to agent collaborations unlock new business space. More importantly, as we discussed, to complete this process, you need a shopping agent, you need a merchant agent. It will give AI startup or, or AI companies a lot of rooms to build the real useful AI agents. And in that mind, we have Netman XYZ, which will help people to build those useful AI agents and also help people to rank in those AI agents so that you can choose the right one for your right purpose. Okay, now let's talk about the disadvantage. The first is the ecosystem delay. The banks, networks, and merchants need time for adoption and risk tuning. And also, in order to make the business model work, a huge amount of AI agents are needed. Second, implementation complexity. The signature, audio trails, and eight-way flows add engineering overhead. Luckily, those uh, payment companies like PayPal, Stripe, they will take a large portion of the work, especially for the payment token part. So people like us, we can focus on building the right AI agents. Third, Third is the user education and the UI UX design. Because this is new business model, it contains signature and up, upfront authorization must be understandable. Meaning we need to have dedicated UI, UI UX design so the people can easily understand the whole pipeline, including the signature, including the evidence chain to reduce any dispute, potential dispute. Lastly, is a potential fragmentation. Large platforms push their own standards. Actually, just several days ago, OpenAI and Stripe has announced the ACP, another open payment protocol. So it will allow uh, you can, it will allow people to actually buy things from ChatGPT. So ChatGPT used to give links and description about products. And now it can search product and help you buy it. And currently Shopify has announced supporting it. So people can buy product from Shopify uh, through the ChatGPT. I actually tried to test it uh, today. Uh, but it didn't work for me because uh, I'm in UK now and uh, currently it only uh, support a US customer. But we believe we will have we can experience it in the near future. All right, thank you for listening. Here is the social media of my of Netman AI, and this is my personal LinkedIn. And any questions you can send to this email. And this code is a free credit that you can use in our website. It will give everyone 10 free credits. Thank you and have a great day.